Hello everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles, and we're back with the bag number four of our 45 pounds of Shop Goodwill jewelry, and look at all the goodies. I can't wait to get into all of this with you. Look at how beautiful some of these pieces are. So we will just continue finishing bag number four. I'm so excited that you're here, and I'm excited to see what we have. I see a lot of really pretty, pretty stuff. But before we get started, I'll let you know how to contact me. If you see something you like, contact me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. And please give me these four pieces of information. I do answer my emails in the order that you send them, with the exception of a couple of really, you know, top people that have been very dedicated and I owe that to them. So I do answer my emails in the order you send them, and if you send me the information, I will also be able to let you know if I have these items really quickly. So I appreciate you getting that for me, and for yourself too, it really helps you too. So please get these four pieces, and you can screenshot this if you'd like. I need to make a new one, it's getting a bit worn, right? But thank you so much for that. And I want to remind you that I have a Facebook group. I'm not real good with technology, but I do have a Blessed Bobbles Facebook group. If you'd like to join that, just come on over and join. Love to see you there. And if you like the video, hit the subscribe button and let me know in the comments that you're a new subscriber. Love to hear from you. Thank you very much for giving me the chance to show you what I have and to try my channel. I really appreciate it. And click the bell so you'll be notified when my next video comes out, okay? Thanks so much for that. And we are continuing in this bag. There's a lot of pretty stuff. We talked last time about my very sorry earring tree, but I'm going to bring it back up again because we need it. Because I can see that we have just found the second earring to the one that we put on our wait for your mate board. So for those of you that are tuning in for the first time, I have to explain this is a styrofoam cone that I crocheted some loops onto so that I could put clip-on earrings on there because when you stick the earrings into the styrofoam like this, that's great, but when you have a clip-on earring, you can't stick it into the styrofoam. So I thought I would invent this and it's looking kind of crazy. So I have to explain that nutty thing, I really do. All right, here's the other earring. The beautiful, oh my goodness, look at the colors on there. And the workmanship, wow. So these are all little, little tiny seed bead earrings. And let's see if the, the hooks are magnetic so we don't have to think about sterling. Not for money purposes, but just for those of you that are sensitive and need sterling, I like to always make sure. But here you go. Here is this beautiful pair of earrings, and I will say $8 on those. They are stunning. Everything's there. So that's piece number one. Now this is really confusing. In my last video, in this same bag, I found a beautiful purple necklace. It sounds like Bakelite looks like it could be it's all hand knotted like it's important but it's on a newer clasp so i'm thinking it's probably not bakelite it is swirly i'm trying to learn about the plastics and i would say this is maybe a thermoset plastic but i'll have to look into it because i need to know what it is so there you go with that one i'll put it aside and let you know what happens This looks so beautiful. Oh, and there's a maker, okay. It looks like we have a Chico's. What a beautiful bracelet. I love Chico's. They seem to always use some natural stone and some faux stones together. It's a double bracelet connected together. And let's see if maybe there's a necklace or something matching it. I do see a similar color back here, but it looks different. Yeah, it's got seed beads and 
Oh my goodness, that's beautiful too. Oh, wow. Wow. All right, hold on with that. See if we can find a matching Chico. So we might just put the bracelets aside and see what happens because I'm not seeing anything immediately. If I start pulling things out, I might tangle. But what the? Oh my gosh, look, look, look. Look at the sparkle and the ball. Oh, oh my. Look at the sparkle. What in the world is this? Okay. What do we have? Is this coral, like, this is coral. It has to be real coral. Look at these beads. It looks like coral in the rough form where it's not polished. I mean, I can't be sure, but it's cold and it feels very much like a organic matter. It does not feel like the, um, oh, I always have to think of the name. It doesn't feel like the, I can't think of it, the lighter plastic that was made a while ago. <gasps> You're all screaming, Sherry, it's celluloid. It's, it does not feel like celluloid at all. It's heavy and it looks to me like it's coral but I've never seen coral like this. So there's another one. Now the gold tone beads do have some wear, so I don't think those are real gold. I'm taking a look at the clasp to see if it's sterling, but I'll probably have to look with the loop, and I'm gonna have to look into it anyway, so let me know what you think. Do you think that's coral? It sure does feel like it. Wow, exciting, exciting, exciting. Another one for the research pile. Oh, well. Okay, bracelets aside. And what do we have here? Is this all the same piece? No. This looks like something wonderful. This has to be something fabulous. Okay, I mean, just look. Look at the colors. All right, let's see what we got. We'll look for a clasp or a marker. Oh my heavens, it's stunning. There's hearts. Look at these very olive green faceted beads. These opaque milky beads. This feels acrylic, but I'll check. Some faux pearls. Oh, it's long. Here's the clasp. It's like a antique gold tone, and it has a spring ring and this other class. Oh, I see. Okay, now, I do, I do know that I can find out who that maker is. And sometimes people think it's Juicy Couture, but it's not. It might be a Premier Designs older logo. I think it might be. But what it has on it is its extender, which is lovely. It's the same color metal. So maybe someone just got a veli, got a veli, got a very intelligent extender for it. I don't see why you'd need an extender. But let's check this, because you never know. It is magnetic. And Yes, okay. So we'll leave it with this piece because the metal matches very nicely. Although I don't see why you would need an extender with this. All right, let me just clip it here. Now, back to the necklace. Now it has two lobster clasps. Oh boy. Maybe that's why they put it on. All right, let's get back to how beautiful it is. This is like a periwinkle blue. There is some leaf designs, and circle designs, just really beautiful colors. A very stunning necklace. I will look up that crown later, but I'm gonna guess Premier Designs, but it's not gonna affect the price. It is still a beautiful piece regardless.
and it has these on it too. Let's see how you look on the Buster Boy. Just double it so that we can get it in view. It's beautiful. Antique gold tone. The chain is like a pap paper clip with a texture to it. It's a stunner. I always wonder, do we have matching earrings? But I'm not going to worry about that anymore. If we do, they'll show up as I reach in the bag and look for <laughs> I'm hopeless. I I'm just so, I can't wait. I can't wait, but I'm going to have to. So this necklace is probably quite long. Let's see what it measures. It's a lot. A lot of it is glass. Some of it is acrylic. It's so pretty. Just can't beat those colors. They go with anything. So it's 36 inches, plus there's that five or six inch extender. So pretty. I'm going to say I'll do 15 on this. My gosh, just for the beads alone, you can't even beat that price. So I hope you love it. I hope you're excited about that one. So let me know. Okay. Excuse me, Buster Boy. Then we have a similar color necklace. Also extremely sparkly, beautiful. Oh, wow. And it's an Erica Lyons. No wonder. There's your logo, Erica Lyons. And the pieces that they make are really beautiful. And some of them go for quite a lot. So let's take a look from the beginning these larger end caps and this sort of whatever bead spacer at the top and then beautiful like a 1950s retro turquoise seed bead into some teal silver tone back to teal look at all the silver tone isn't that gorge back to the teal and look at how it just waterfalls out into this stunning display. I just don't, I don't have words. It's so pretty. Wow. Okay. Someone must have donated similar jewelry because I see a lot of beautiful sparkly pieces in this bag that are similar. So I can give you an idea what it looks like when it falls on the neck. And there you go. Sure, it needs a little fixing up, so I'll have to kind of drop this this way. And yeah, so I'm sure you would just see how these all line up on here, which is really nice. Then it gives you the ability to line them up when you're wearing it. So that's super awesome. Really gorgeous. Erica Lyons. It's a long necklace. Can I, let's see if you could wear it doubled. Would you double it? Oh my gosh, look at that. Can you imagine that as a choker? You could even sort of kind of show off with the logo. I mean, I don't know, but it's pretty. I think you could double it, but that's up to you. But I am gonna say 23 on this. I think it's worth it. It's a beautiful piece of Erica Lyons. I don't think they're making them anymore, I'm not sure, but I hope you love that one. And I don't think I measured it. Got so excited. It is 28 inches to the first part. Then you have an extender that's another two. So 30 inches on the first drop and probably 34 to the last one. So, wow. I'm so happy that is such a beautiful necklace and not a thing missing. We have got this silver tone faux pearl. Those are very beautiful crystals. They're beautiful crystals. The faux pearls aren't awesome. I mean, there's nothing bad about them. They're not scratched at all. But these crystals just look like, you know, they should go with something more fancy. But nonetheless, this is the necklace. 
silver tone, like two beads. There's some white seed beads and faux pearls. Very beautiful crystals. Don't see a maker. The clasp is in great shape. I love being able to say that. It's 18 inches, maybe goes to 19. And I'll say $3 on that. Only because the faux pearls are just really light. Otherwise, that's a beautiful sparkly necklace. Okay, I probably shouldn't be pulling from the back, but... Oh, this one has a card. Okay, uh, is that a Charming Charlie logo? I'm not sure. Turquoise medium. Oh, that's so beautiful. Whoever it is, I do not care. It is stunning. Let's see, does it have a cross? I kind of want to take it off of this card so I could get a good look at it. I hate to do that, but we have to look at the beauty. Don't let me, don't let me cut it. I'm not, I'm being very careful. Okay, we got it off. Now we can take a look. So it is not a clasp, which I love that too, because then you can do so much with it. You can double it, triple it. Oh my goodness, another stunner. What a beautiful necklace. So just to show you very closely, we have so many different colors, like a smoky topaz and white. And this is a medium blue, turquoise blue, AB sort of crystal coated, smoky blue, this is like a reddish, oh my, it's so pretty. And hand knotted all in between, or is that black seed beads? Hand knotted. All hand knotted. You know why I love that? Because if a necklace ever broke, it's not going anywhere. You're not going to be like, standing somewhere and the beads are like going everywhere because it's hand knotted. I think that's awesome. So that's probably too many wraps. Let's not get carried away. Let's just do the three. Just because it's easier to see and you get an idea of how beautiful it is. So maybe it's a charming Charlie. I don't know. But I don't care. It's beautiful. It's all glass, crystal. Awesome. Probably very, very long. And I'm dying to put like a, a clasp to show off on there. What would you think would look great? Would you put a gold tone clasp or a silver tone or even something else? What brooch do you have that would look great on there? You could wear a brooch and carefully pin it there or here. What color would you put with that? Love to know that. Okay. This is super long. I'm going to say it's probably 60 or more. And it's definitely 60 inches. Oh, another super awesome score. So beautiful. I'm going to say um, 17 on that. Perfect condition. All hand knotted. This is great, great, great. And I will keep the card with it. Okay. Now, look at the beads on this one. Has a toggle clasp. I think something's competing. You are competing with my camera. You need to go earring stand. Not that I'm mad at you, but we need focus. Toggle clasp necklace, and when you see the space on these, you don't want to worry because these beads need room to move around, so a little bit of space is a good thing. Let me just see what it's going to look like on the neck, and we'll talk about the color of the beads and what we've got. 
really beautiful colors. But I wanted to explain, like on this bracelet, you see how there's a space in between those beads? But that is really needed because the bracelet just moves so fantastically on me. So comfortable to wear because there is room. So if you ever see a little room on something that's beaded and not hand knotted, that's a good thing because you need that room. Not that this has a lot of room. I'm not seeing a lot. I'm just taking the opportunity to explain that. So first we'll see if we have sterling because that'll tell us a little something. I don't think it's having a little bit of pull. Faux pearls, lots more crystals again. These are like a silvery pearl, very sparkly, probably definitely crystal. Olive green, clear, citrusy, pink, purples, like it's imitating all the important gemstones. And then there's silver spacers in between. It's super pretty. Really pretty, lots of colors. It's um, it's over 16 inches, I'd say 17. There you go with that one. And I'll say, um, we'll do $7 on that. Pretty. Wow, my table over there with the pieces that we've found is just shimmering with beauty. Ooh, then we have this. Oh, I see a really old necklace. I can't wait to get it. <gasps> I think it's old. Looks old. We have this multi metal. This is cool. It's almost like a greenish tint to this chain silver tone and gold tone. It's braided. Lobster clasp. Really good condition. Here's the other end. So the chain is really super perfect. I don't see any maker mark, but that's okay. I'm really enjoying not needing to run to a maker's mark and just looking more at the materials and the the design of something. I don't know, it's just, it's becoming really fun to me. So this is the braided piece with the different metals. And this does have like a green color, interesting. Hi, Bolty, is it dinner time? Okay, let me tell them how long the necklace is, then I'll come and feed you. It is 18 inches, and then there is another three inch extender. It's in great shape, and I'll say $8 on that one. Okay, next we have a brooch with some pearls hanging off of the bottom. Super lovely having competition again. Okay, let me move this this way. I think that will help. So we have this brooch and it is an antiqued gold tone. See how it has a little bit of a shiny finish? So I would think they put like a clear coat over the top. The pearl is in great shape, the faux pearl. It's a beautiful brooch. It's on a thin metal it looks to be stamped out rather than, you know, filigree formed, but the pin mechanism looks older. I'm not sure. I just know it's pretty. It would look great on a bunch of necklaces. So I'm going to say $6 on this, and then I'm going to leave it right over here because I bet you I'm going to want to stick it on a necklace and play around with the jewelry. Okay, I'm seeing that I'm got an earring that we found in our last video so we can go to the wait for your mate board and get it they look very apropos snowflakes and we are still in winter time and they are a little bit frosty and a mirror on the back to make them sparkly very lovely good condition nice weight to them and I'll say three dollars on those what have we next? I really want to see this old piece. It seems to be old, but oh, what in the world? Oh my gosh. Look at the, oh, oh my. 
What do I have in my hands? Look at all the... Okay, I don't know what to say. This is a brass finding. Is there a name? <gasps> there is. Okay, I just said I was like so showing off that I don't need names. And now I'm so excited that I have one. Colleen Toland. Colleen Toland. That's the name of this fantastic piece of jewelry. It looks so Miriam Haskell, doesn't it? I mean, I know Miriam Haskell is is very different and there's a lot more to it, but look at this piece. I can't get over. I'm going to have to look that up. I am totally excited. I just stopped the video and went and looked up um, Colleen Tolan and it's an incredible brand. I mean, I knew when I saw it that it was something special. So let's get it on Buster, see how it hangs. Then we'll talk about the little different beads on it. I mean, this is not something I can fly right past. So, wow, okay. What a great, great box again, again. So this is how it hangs. It seems to have these flowers with all these little tiny danglies here and then these really intricate beads above it. Look at these. They are so intricate. It's like a brassy color. The links come up around here and connect all of that together. Those flowers are stunning. So I don't know what else to say except to stay on this like a hundred years because it's so beautiful. This even has like some different coloring, almost like AB coating on the tiny beads. So I hope you got a great look at this Colleen Tolan. I am learning about this brand. This is the extender and your maker's mark, and they go for over a hundred dollars. They really do. I didn't see one as detailed and pretty as this, but I didn't have a lot of time to look, but they definitely go for a lot. So if you know the brand, you are in love with this. I'll give you a measurement. It is 20 inches and another maybe inch extender. Colleen Tolan, beautiful. And I will, of course, I'm gonna discount. Um, I'll say, so if I go like 85, I don't know why I keep going 85 lately. I just think there's room for someone to sell it and make money, or if you love it, you've already got it at a discount. It's in great shape, beautiful. How fun is that, Colleen Tolan? Excellent, excellent. You having fun? If so, give me a like, a thumbs up on the video. I'd appreciate it. Ooh, this is gorge. It's like a raspberry pink faux pearl bracelet. The stretch is not great. That's such a shame because look how pretty. Might have a rhinestone missing. So we're going to have to start a new craft jar. What have we got next? The next one we have is called Babsy. So someone asked me to name a craft jar Babsy, and here you are. So if you see that on the video and it was you, let me know. Oh, see how I'm so organized, I'm beyond organized for myself. Does that make sense? Catherine Ruby had a horse <laughs> named Babsy. So, see, I wrote it on there already. And before I get proud of myself here, that's who asked me to put it on. So, there you go, Catherine. There's your Babsy. Not pressure for you to buy it. It never means that this is for that person. It just means that we have a lot of fun putting whoever would like their name on a cup, and then anyone can buy it. So, just want to explain that. First deposit in jewelry hospital named Babsy. Gorgeous raspberry pearl bracelet. Okay. Next, next, next. Another one that's kind of like that, and I bet you that's a 
magnetic clasp because it looks like it opens. Okay, I don't want to ruin my nail, but if it does, it's strong, and if not, I mean, look at that. Would you think it does stretch and it does go back to the stretch? So I think I trust that. It does feel like you'd have to roll it on. So I'm going to say it's not a magnetic clasp and I don't want to pull on it, but it's in good shape. Yellow faceted, very cool piece. And I'll say five on that. Okay. Another shimmery baby. This is a copper color faceted bead necklace. Looks like an over the head piece. Hope I'm having good focus today. It's not an over the head piece. It has a clasp and a maker. That surprised me. And it is a, it says T-A-O-L-E-I. T-A-O-L-E-I. I don't know who that maker would be. Like, a, like totally. It's a nice long necklace. Very, very beautiful. And the fact that it has a spring ring makes it easier to double it and triple it. It is 50 inches long, 5-0. Let's bring out our buster. Okay, and give it a little wrap and see what it looks like. Oh, it's so elegant. Really beautiful. All right, now I know this is not the right color, but you get the idea. Super pretty. I would do that. I think that's pretty. I like the clash of colors, the clash of the colors. So 50 inch necklace, it does have a maker and a clasp. It's in super nice shape. It's a gorgeous color and I'll say, do $12 on that. That is like one of those staple pieces that you want in your jewelry wardrobe. As I am learning, the more I do jewelry unboxing and the more I learn about jewelry, there are certain staple pieces like you would have in your clothing. This looks like White House Black Market tag. Yes, it is. And I can tell by the quality in my hands that it is. So we have these really deep, deep black faceted like jet, French jet glass, glass beads. Look how dark they are. That's quality. That's where they take it to the next level and how they connect them together like a truly old fashioned chain. That's gorgeous. And then look at the chain on the top. Oh, how pretty. The extender has faceted beads. That's another staple piece, I would think. Some kind of maybe two or three black faceted glass necklaces are always good to have really cute. This measures 18 inches and I think that's pretty fully extended, yes. But you can wear it really as a cute choker as well. So really nice glass, White House Black Market and I'll say we'll do 15 on that and I heard that when you go in that shop, pieces are a lot of money. So I hope that's a really fun, fun find and that you're excited for that one. Whoever you are, you will know who you are. Okay. We have like a cat eye effect bead and a maker on this one too. And it the, the name on it is Success. I don't know if that was a maker or not. Now, recently I'm learning that there is a true cat eye quartz bead, bead, stone, <laughs> that um, that is out there. So I'm gonna check this and see if it goes up to quartz or glass. And it does go to glass. Super beautiful. Please have a good stretch. Hmm, I just don't know. 
I don't think I trust it. You know, when I did the restringing of all the bracelets, after I restrung them, they felt the same as when I had, the same as right now. And I realized that the stretch is a lot stronger than we would think, but I still don't feel like I could sell that. Um, I'll put it in the craft jar. Beads are beautiful. Someone's going to say, I wish you didn't put that in the craft jar. All right, I won't. And I will say, let's still do $6 on this, but just remember, the stretch probably needs redone. Okay, so I hope I've done the right thing. I'm really getting to know all of you, and it seems like that would be the right thing to do. Okay, I just found another earring that goes with this one. And I remember I wanted to check these because I need to check them for marks. I don't think they're going to be gold, but I'll just look at them. Okay. Now, what are we going to do after this 45-pound box is finished? I have so much to show you. I want to do the rich box, poor box episodes where I open a very expensive box that I've had for months that I haven't even peeked at. And I open a box that costs, you know, $25 or something and see what the difference is. So that's going to be our next series, I hope. Hopefully I'll be moved into a place and I'll have all I need to pull off that episode. If not, we'll make it wherever we are. Okay, I'm pulling out some incredible stuff. All right, focus, Sherry. So this is more black faceted glass beads with silver tone in between on a black chain. That is hot looking. Lobster clasp, gunmetal color clasp, and it looks to be a little, just a little tangled, but not bad. The black chains are really looking good to me lately. Really pretty effect. So let me untangle it so it'll hang right. All right, where's our clasp here? And then sometimes they're actually a lot longer than I thought. Okay. I'll probably have to pause for a minute and get this how I need to. Let's see. What can we sing? La la la. Singing a song while we're untangling. La 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 la. All right, maybe you don't want to hear me sing. All right, I'm going to pause. Okay, we got it. And it's a nice long necklace. Three tier. Let me just make sure they're glass because they felt pretty cold, but I want to say the right thing. Yeah, they are going to glass. So again, black chain, three tiers, silver tone beads in between on, on um, a graduated size faceted bead. They get larger at the bottom. So it's quite beautiful. I'll measure the first drop. It's 26 inches, and the last one is 32. 26 and 32. Very beautiful black chain. And I'm gonna put it where it doesn't tangle again, and I'll say 15 on that. Such a lovely, lovely bag of jewelry again. What in the world? Is this like a little doggy thing? I don't know. It has a lock on it. And a brass knuckles. I don't know what I'm looking at. Okay. Have no idea. Sorry, but I don't know. I'll just put it aside. I don't know what it is, so I don't know how to price it. Okay. Maybe I'll put it in like a larger 
jewelry bag or you if you know what it is and you love it just let me know this is a pretty pretty color it appears to be faux pearls on an antique copper tone chain but the color is really different so here's your copper might even be real copper. That looks copper to me, through and through, right? Look at that. It is copper. The chain is copper and everything. It's stuck on this, what looks like a stone necklace. Okay, oops. Wow. Oh, and look at this. It's another three-tier drop necklace. So I'm going to say it is a copper chain, faux pearls that are a beautiful creamy sort of, um, how can I say that color? It's not a chocolatey brown, it's like a golden brown, yes. And then these golden peachy color, it's hard to explain, the colors are outstanding. So we have this piece. This looks like it should have a maker because it's not usual to have copper findings. And look how long and dramatic that drop is. That's a stunner. Copper jewelry, beautiful color. Wow, someone with red hair, that would look so pretty. All right, let me measure the first drop. It is 18 inches, and you've got another one to two inches, so 18 to 20 on the first, and then probably quite long on the last one, 30. So 20 to 30, that's how dramatic it is. So I'll show it to you again close up with the beads, and I will say $8 on that. The colors are very different. Happy again. Now, just look at this. What beautiful sparkle. AB crystals. Would that be the front? Yes, this would be the front. It's not quite a Y drop, although, I don't know, it could be classified as one. It has a Oh my gosh, why am I forgetting the clasp? Has this kind of clasp, okay? You could put in the comments. Sherry, that kind of clasp is because for some reason I just had a brain cramp. <gasps> okay, I think it's because I'm doing two or three videos back to back so I can go out and look at houses this week and find a place. All right, let's fix this. Make sure it fixes. Yes, it's on like a little wire. So those will all straighten. All right, antique gold tone again, pretty. All glass beads. Let's make sure this is gonna work. It just needs to be gently moved back where it goes. There's nothing wrong with it, just, you know, it's just gonna take a minute. I don't wanna take a minute right now, okay. It's a pretty one, toggle glass. Okay, thank you for yelling it loud enough because I got it little tiny turquoise beads with like an antique gold tone bead in between and then you've got all these beautiful color it is 16 inches with another couple inches hanging with the tassel -y. and I'll say five dollars on that this is going to be the greatest thumbnail I know I always say that but what are you my darling my beautiful darling. Look at this cunning baby. Okay, it's got a name. Let's see what it says. Hong Kong. Wow. So this goes with one of those awesome Hong Kong necklaces that's out there somewhere. Silver filigree. He's super thin. This must be 
like this celluloid has to be. And then look at the facets on there. I mean, the, the prongs. So adorable. Okay. Let's not get excited until we find the second one. I'm pretty sure we will because so far this whole box has had both earrings, lovely jewelry, and lots of excitement. We found Bakelite. We found... Remember that yellow-green necklace that I still need to figure out with the beads that light up? That's a beautiful one, too. I still have no idea what it is. Okay, you're going to wait for your mate. Wait for your mate. You know you got to wait for your awesome mate. And it's going to lay on the table. Okay. Let's get this bigger piece out so we can see what's in there. Or maybe not. Sometimes you have to go with however it comes out of the bag. Okay, oh, that's that other earring. That's so pretty. Yes, Bolty, I did forget to feed you. I'll do that in a minute. So we have some glass. I would call it Givre glass, G-I-V-R-E, because it's two colors. I hope I'm right about that. It does need a little bit of clean. So I'm going to, hi, Bolty, I'm going to feed you. I'm going to clean this necklace, and we're going to come back and tell the people what we have. Can I show them your face? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can do it, because there's not enough room on the table, but yeah, it's just too difficult to show him, but maybe I can come around this way. Both of they love to see you, so if we can get you in there. I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> He's so huge. Can you see him a little bit? I don't want to encourage him to get on the table, but I hope you didn't just see his foot or something. Okay, you won't even know I'm gone. Okay, everyone, I'm gonna end the video here. I have to make them a little bit shorter this week so I can post more videos so that I can keep getting videos out to you while I'm looking for a place. So thank you for your patience with that. So I'm going to say goodbye and we'll pick up again. I have pre-recorded two or three videos, so you will see them come out this week. Thanks so much. And I want to say that there's two all-wearable jewelry jars left. One of them is called Bailey. They have gemstones and sterling silver in them. I made them special just for my channel. So Bailey is available. Those are $39.99. That's what I sell them for on my eBay store. But I put more things in them for you guys and made them a little more special. And the other jar that is available as all wearable is the Adriana jar. So if you want these, just let me know. Again, sterling silver in here and some gemstones, all wearable jewelry again. It's quite hefty, so it'll be a little bit of shipping. They're probably maybe two pounds. So I hope you liked the video. Thanks so much for joining me. I've already taped the next one and it's so exciting. So make sure you come back, click the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff, because you're not going to want to miss the next one. All right. So come on, thumbs up. We'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Bye.